Hello, in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function. We have k of x equal to the square root of the cosecant of the tangent of x. So this is going to require multiple chain rules. So as a good first step, we're going to take this square root function and write it um, to the one-half power. So k of x is actually going to be cosecant of tangent of x. And the whole thing here is to the one-half power. And now we're going to take the derivative and apply the chain rule multiple times. So there's our inside function, right? It's like x to the, um, our outside function rather, it's like x to the one half. So we're gonna bring down this one half and leave the inside untouched. And then multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's what the chain rule says to do. So k prime of x is equal to, so you take the one half and you put it in the front. So it's one half parentheses cosecant of the tangent of x. And then one half minus one is negative one half and then times the derivative of the inside function, okay? So the inside function, it's cosecant of tan x. That's gonna require another chain rule. The derivative of a cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. So this will be negative cosecant of tan x, cotangent of tan x, times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is tangent. Its derivative is secant squared x. Beautiful. Again, multiple chain rules. You take the derivative of the outside function, leave the inside untouched, times the derivative of the inside, but that's another chain rule. So you take the derivative of the outside function, cosecant, which gives you negative cosecant cotangent. You evaluate it at the inside, leave it untouched, times the derivative of secant squared, a derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. Um, this negative here, I'm gonna put it in the front. So k prime of x is equal to negative one half and I'm just going to write it um, like this. This I'm going to bring downstairs and make it a square root. So it'll be cosecant of the tangent of x, cotangent of the tangent of x, secant squared of x, all divided by square root cosecant tangent x. Right, it becomes a square root, and that would be the derivative. And now we're gonna find the second derivative. No, I'm kidding, that would be <laughs> really messy. Kind of an interesting problem. Not really tough, but just a good exercise in the chain rule, and of course you have to know some of the formulas for the derivatives. I hope this has been helpful to someone. Good luck.